What's up, YouTube? So in this video, I really want to break down what inflation is, especially for those getting into stacking for the first time, and they may not understand what inflation exactly is and why gold and silver is so important. Now, I've talked about this topic before on my channel. I made a whole video on it, but we really need to revisit this point because it's so important, especially for seasoned stackers and those who know what inflation is, what it truly is. And that's what we're going to get into in this video. And in order to truly understand inflation, you have to understand energy and you have to start looking at money in terms of energy. And so let me just go ahead and give you a quick example. I heat my home using wood primarily. I do have oil, but my primary source of heat is coming from a wood stove and I use wood. And you know, my wood stack, my seasoned wood stack is getting low. I do have some unseasoned wood. I don't wanna go into that because I don't wanna be burning this resinous wood and then possibly dunk up my chimney, right? And possibly cause a chimney fire. I don't want that. So you wanna burn seasoned wood. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, do I pay someone right now to deliver some seasoned wood? Or do I go out and just go ahead and chop down or use my chainsaw and bring down some of this seasoned dead wood? Now, for those of you who don't know, seasoned dead wood is essentially wood that has been standing for years, is dead, and is essentially seasoned. It's actually the best type of wood to burn, in my opinion. From all the woods that I have burned, seasoned dead wood burns to cleanest, meaning there's hardly any smoke that it creates, and it's very efficient when it burns. And this is because of all of the water that's constantly washing over that seasoned dead wood that's standing. Um, that's another important aspect of it. It has to be standing. You don't want it on the ground. If it's on the ground, it's no good. It has to be standing because when it's vertical like that, again, when the rain hits it, it's washing off all of that sap, all of that resin, and then the air dries it. And it keeps going through that process over and over and over again. And so when you eventually take that tree down, it is perfectly seasoned. And I mean perfectly seasoned. And in my opinion, it is the best type of wood to burn. But just getting back to the topic, you know, do I pay someone, I don't know, around $200 for a half a quart of seasoned firewood or do I do it myself? And, you know, I'm kind of doing the math out in my head. I'm thinking, well, you know, this is going to take me probably an hour and a half of my time, a little bit of gas and oil because I run a chainsaw that's a two stroke engine. Um, and when I did it out, it was a no brainer. It just made sense to do it myself because the energy required of me to take down that seasoned deadwood, chop it up and get it ready for the stove would have been a much better deal than paying someone, let's say 200 to $250 for seasoned firewood. And so you may be asking, what does this have anything to do with inflation? And it has everything to do with inflation. This is a great example because what you have to understand is money is energy. So when you put in work and you're putting in your time, that is a form of energy. And in return, you want something of equal value. You know, it goes back to the law of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can change forms. So for example, me cutting down that tree with my chainsaw, then splitting it with my ax, right? That's a form of energy that's now being transformed into heat. You can even look at Newton's laws of motion where for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So my action of taking down that seasoned deadwood, the reaction is going to be heat, okay? So it's very simple to understand this. And this is how money should work. It should always be equal. There should be a balance. What you put in is what you get out. That's how it should be. That is sound money. That's how the system works under gold and silver. But what's happening right now is you have these banks who are cutting you short. They're not holding up their end of the deal. So when you are putting in all this work, all of this time, what the bank is doing is giving you devalued energy in the form of fiat. Because why is it devalued? Well, because they've essentially inflated away the currency through debt. Remember, debt is money creation. Without debt, there is no dollar. The dollar is a debt note. So in order to create dollars, you have to create debt. And the more debt that you have in the system, or in other words, the more dollars, the more devalued your currency becomes. And so when you're putting in all that time and effort, you're not getting a fair end of the deal. This is inflation. This is why costs of goods are rising because your dollar is being devalued. Yet you're still putting in the same amount of work. You know, I've literally showed this in the last three of my videos and I'm gonna to continue to show it because it's so important. And this is coming from the usdebtclock.org. Take a look at median incomes. Take a look at that right now. Go back to 2000. Again, we're only going back to 2000. It gets even worse 
If you go back to like 1980, 1960, 1950, it gets even more disgusting. But if you just look at the year of 2000 and compare it to today, you can see that median incomes only rose around 12 and percent. That's absolutely nothing when you compare it to everything else around you. A great example of this would be home prices that have increased over 200 percent, right? And you're still putting in the same amount of work. So you're not getting a fair end of the deal. And this is why sound money, again, is so essential. And this is what inflation is. It's the devaluation of your work. It's the devaluation of your time. Essentially, the bank is not holding up their end of the deal or whoever may be issuing that currency. So in other words, there's a skewed equation here. All of that energy, all of that time that you're putting in, that action, you're not getting an equal reaction in return. You're getting a devalued reaction. OK, it's complete tomfoolery and this should not be happening. This doesn't happen in nature in a natural world where we are in a bartering type of system. This never happens. This only happens when you have a fraudulent system that operates through fiat currencies. That's the only way this is possible. And this is why fiat currencies are so dangerous, because they devalue everything and they make you into a debt slave. They essentially put invisible chains on you while you're putting in all this work all this time. You're not getting what you should in return. That is a fiat currency. And that's what always happens. And then eventually people wake up and they go back to sound money because it's the only way. It really is the only way. So think about gold and silver here and think about operating under a sound money system. When I put in work, when I put in time, if you were to pay me in silver or gold, I know that the exchange is equal. I know that the equation is going to be balanced. I know that for the action that I put in, I'm going to get an equal reaction, if that makes sense because it's very logical. Think about the time, the energy it took to get that silver and gold out of the ground, to refine it, to melt it down, to make it into coins, bars. That all takes time and energy. And so you can't fake that. It's not like the printing press where you can just continue to print out trillions upon trillions of dollars and then only increase median incomes 12% over the last 23 years, right? It's not like that. Right. There's no getting around it. And silver and gold is inflation proof. You can't print it away. You can't put more zeros on the computer screen. You either have it or you don't. And there's only so much of it in the ground. And under a sound money system, inflation does not exist. This is what people have to understand. And this is why gold and silver is so important. It is not a barbarous relic. It is literally freedom. It is literally freedom encompassed in a coin or a bar, so to say. This is how we essentially make America great again. And what America am I talking about? I'm talking about the America before the creation of the Federal Reserve back in 1913. We need to get back to sound money, okay? Because what's happening right now is completely ridiculous. Our kids are gonna have nothing. Their kids are gonna have nothing if this continues on. And we're seeing the signs all around us. It's completely breaking down. The whole system is. You know, the infrastructure is breaking down. The country is bankrupt. It is 100% bankrupt. And your dollar is essentially being devalued through debt creation. Remember, debt creation means money creation. The two are the same. And that's what people don't understand. When they hear the word debt, they don't understand that. That essentially means that more money has been created. And as a result, your dollar is now going to be devalued. You know, this would be a non-issue if your incomes actually kept up with the money printing, but it's not. And it's not going to because this is the plan. This is how they control people. They control people with this debt note. They want the debt note. And furthermore, this is why they're pushing for a central bank digital currency, because they can control the people. If you control the money supply, you control the people, hands down. You know, it's disgusting, but people are going to be controlled through money. There's nothing new under the sun. The love of money is the root of all evil. Not money itself, but the love of it. And unfortunately, we have a lot of people who love money and they're willing to do some things that are going to hurt their fellow men. You know, it's just how it is. Again, nothing new under the sun. We literally saw Judas sell out Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. You know, it even happened to God. So keep that in mind. But if we ever want to get back to a America that is actually great, we really have to get back to sound money. That is the only way. And I stand behind that because this is not working and this will not work. It's only going to get worse because we're operating using a fiat currency. The purchasing power of this dollar, the strength of the dollar, those are the days of the past. Those days are not coming back, right? This is not your grandma's or grandpa's America. This is totally different. And people need to wake up. 
And this is essentially what inflation is. All you have to remember is it is the devaluation of your currency. There are too many dollars in the system and they're able to do this because they're operating using a fake fiat. This would not be possible under gold and silver. And I should be very clear here, I'm talking about physical gold and physical silver, not paper gold and paper silver. You know, I don't really have a problem with notes, so as long as we can exchange them in, because that is going to keep the banks honest. If people have the ability to exchange in these gold or silver notes at any time, that keeps the bank honest, and people are gonna find out real quick if the bank is doing any type of tomfoolery and are essentially creating more notes than they have actual physical gold and physical silver. But again, all of the gold and silver certificates in this country were done away with with the creation of the Federal Reserve. And the rest is history. Look at what has happened to this country ever since, essentially, the creation of the Federal Reserve. It's been downhill ever since. And you know, if you were a boomer, you were at the very beginning of this and you were able to, in my opinion, reap the benefits of this system the most. But if we fast forward to today, it is no longer serving the people and it is a dying system and we can all see it. So that is inflation in and of itself. If you understand that, you will understand inflation. So keep that in mind. That is why gold and silver is so important. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so you get more videos on both gold and silver. And as always, God bless.